Hello everyone and welcome to the Simple Smart YouTube page once again. Nice to see you and today I want to give some information about the selection valve that we use in our dental unit from Dur. As you probably know we use a lot of Dur valves in our dental chairs. This, the reason is because we found them uh, very reliable, compact, easy to install and also to maintain during the time. But today we are here to talk about the Dur selection valve and so I want to give you some little information about um, this valve, how to install and how to maintain. The suction valve purpose is to, the main one, is to separate the suction from one chair to all the others. So while they are connected to the same suction motor. So basically this valve stop one suction tube to the other so when you are using one dental chair the other one is stay closed and so we don't have any loss of power in the suction motor so the system close and open the tubing that goes to the to the motors and in this case when you use this valve we can apply we have to apply in every dental chair in case we have one unit with one motor we don't need this valve but when we have at least two dental chair up to three, four, five, we need to apply this valve in every dental unit. The second reason and the second purpose of this valve is of course to close again the suction tube but also in a dental chair, in only one dental chair, while you are using combined to the dual spitum valve. And this is because the dual spitum valve is the one that allow you to separate the suction from the basin and the suction for the cannula. So we install the dual spitum valve when you need to combine all the suction together in one tube that goes to the suction motor because you need to do the amalgam separation. Keep in mind that this valve it cannot be used with the Venturi suction system, so the air suction system that is the, the suction that comes from the air power that is provided from the compressor and so in that case you don't have a suction motor. So it's just a valve that um, needs to be to use with the suction motor only. And it doesn't matter if it's a dry suction or a wet suction or a liquid suction, also all kind of suction that use the motor power to work. Regarding the installation, we can say that it's very easy, but we need to follow a couple of steps in order to make it properly and avoid problems with the selection valve. The first thing is that when you receive this valve with our dental chair, you will have also some connector that are already included in the, in the selection valve. But if you buy it separately, this valve doesn't provide the connectors together. So you need to remember to buy connectors together with the valve. Otherwise, you, you, it's not easy to make the connection. And we need to care about the direction of the fluid because there are arrows you, so when you mount considering that you have the dental chair in this side and the suction motor in this side we need to follow the direction of the fluid so we cannot put the valve in opposite position but we need to, to put in, in the proper position otherwise it doesn't work of course not and another important thing is to keep the valve straight like this in this position and avoid any curve directly here if it's possible because inside here we have a little chamber and the water cannot go in here is a like a air air exit let's say that allow the valve to work properly but if the water go in then we have problem to, to the valve so to avoid this we suggest to put straight connector in this position. Here it doesn't matter, but here is very important. We normally apply the valve at the chair base where you have the, the suction, the suction tube in this way. So you can go straight to the floor and here you will connect the, the tube coming from the, from the dental chair. So in this position it remains stable and also it will go directly uh, straight to the drain without creating any problem. Regarding the um, wire connection, so the electricity is quite easy because here we have a, a connector where we put the 24 volt. So the valve is normally closed 
and when it when receive the electricity the 24 volt then it start working to control the valve we normally support with an um, electronic board that of course give the power to this while we open the cannula because this is very important we don't we, we cannot give 24 volt all the time but we need to activate when the cannula is up and at the same time it's important to control the delay of the closing of this valve because imagine that we open the, the suction and when we put back the valve close immediately so all the water that we have from here to the suction cannula remain inside the dental chair and it's not a a good practice to, to keep the water there because it's dirty, because there is blood and so on. So we need to create a bit of delay in the closing system here and to do that we have a little board that allow to keep the valve open for 10 seconds even when you apply the, the suction cannula. So in this way all the fluid will go to the suction motor and will be not stay inside the suction tubes. In case you need this board, we can also sell separately, it's not a problem, but you need to control this delay, it's very important. As a maintenance, there are a couple of things that we have to do. There are not many, but two must be done. So one is to keep clean all the internal tubing of the dental chair, so the suction tubes, to avoid that all the dirty parts like blood and bacteria remain inside. This allows to avoid also bad smell and to keep all the valves from Dur or other brand as well clean and safe. The second one is to check once per year or once per two years also the membrane that we have inside the, the selection valve. So in this position we, we can open the, in this way the selection valve and we can see that there is a membrane there that we can keep clean and, and wash and in case you replace in, if it's in very bad condition, it's just few euro, but it's better to do this practice every year at least. So I hope that I gave you the most important information about the selection valve. And if you need more, of course, you can go on our website or visit our YouTube page to see more videos about our content. And if you want and if you need, we can also contact our technician in our company and we will provide you all the information that you need to know. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon.